and do a real quick unboxing. So I did a blind buy. I got two perfumes from Victoria's Secret when they had their little semi-annual sale. And I've been waiting, literally waiting to open these up with you guys so I can wear it finally. And hopefully it smells good. I'm gonna be a little disappointed. So the first one is the Victoria's Secret Fearless. I'm hoping this smells good. This packaging right here is super cute. I love this color, it's like a purple, super cute. Let's open it and I hope it smells good, but I'm gonna pause this so I can open it. All right, so I finally got that plastic off. Oh my gosh, they really know how to package some things. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. It better smell good. It can be cute, but if it don't smell good, it ain't gonna be cute. So let's see, but this packaging, We're about to give it a whiff. It's very, oh, it's very sexy smelling. I'm not, I'm not sure about the notes. It is, mm, ooh. This stuff is strong, you guys. This is definitely strong. Okay, it's black currant, purple diamond, iris, forest, Brazil, Moir, Iris. I think it's just saying it in another language. I don't know what that is. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, let me do it again. This one is strong. Oh my gosh, this is definitely, it's giving <laughs> nighttime. This one's giving nighttime. It's it's feeling. I don't know what all that stuff is. If that was the notes or whatever, I'm gonna have to come back. But that's so strong. <laughs> and then this one right here. Look at that cute little package. I already ripped it, y'all. There's no struggle with this one. And this is the cute packaging. This one is called Bombshell Glamour. Right here. Let's get spray it because I sprayed the other one and it was super strong. Now this one. This one is more of my alley. This one is like it has a sweet but grown smell. It's not giving candy girl or whatever you know how a lot of perfumes give off a candy smell very sweet and immature this one it's like sweet subtle it's yes this is me right here that other one now that other one that one was the nighttime y'all going out it's strong it's very very you know what out of the two I would go with this one. And this one is the Glamour. The Mom Show Glamour by Victoria's Secret. It's cute packaging. I got this on sale. I, I, got, I got a good deal. But this one, I don't know. This one I might return. I don't, I don't think I'm feeling this one like that. But let me give y'all a backstory as to why I even went that route with blind buying because I fell in love with this scent. I think I have it somewhere in my room. I got this little tiny one. I don't know if I like it. For real. <sighs> I don't want to tell you guys. I want to gatekeep. This one smells so good. Like, it's, I'm going to tell y'all. It's Heavenly Dream Angel by Victoria's Secret. And it was a roll-on. This one. It's just so, it's giving angel, and I want to smell like angel. Oh. So, this one is my favorite one, Victoria's Secret. This ain't got nothing to do with them blind buys that I just told y'all. But this is the one. 
this is my one and I didn't want to share it because I loved it so much and I didn't want everybody to buy it and that's why I ended up blind buying because I wanted to buy the um, actual perfume because this was just me like testing it out to see if I even like it for real because you know how you you'll smell something in the store and be like that's the one and then you get home and be like what happened I really thought that was on but this one Ooh, I roll this on every every day and it's gone y'all that's I'm gonna actually probably return this one and I'm gonna have to buy it full price I think it's like 59 I don't know I forgot it's between 50 and 70 dollars for the actual perfume of this the full size it's worth it it smells so good but I don't know I'm indecisive about the what's this one called fearless I'm so indecisive about that one that's why I'm like that has to grow on me but I am a person that's quick to return if I'm not satisfied with a product I definitely will be giving it back I'm getting my money back and you know what I'm gonna return it this one's going this is for somebody else maybe it'll be on clearance for you because it was already used but just only sprayed it twice y'all I don't think that's one. I don't know. Maybe I should ask my husband. He'll tell me. He'll tell me. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. And you guys would be surprised what everybody likes. I went to ask everybody in the house. And they like this one on me. Am I crazy? I don't smell what they smell on me. Or is it because it's my body chemistry and it's giving off something else for somebody else? I don't know. It's a little confusing, so I don't know if I want to give it up. If it smells good, my husband said it smells good. He liked it better than this one, the one I like. He likes this one, the real grown one. This one's definitely grown. I ain't playing with y'all. Do not buy this for your daughter. Don't take it. This is very gross. But this one smells so sweet and pink and definitely glamorous. Um, but again, you guys, let's see what y'all think. Check out Victoria's Secret and see what y'all like. Like, go to the store. Don't blind buy. Don't blind buy. <laughs> I luckily blind buy when it was a sale. And as always, this one is going to be my number one when I go there. I'm still going back to get this. I might not return nothing at all, but I'm definitely going to get this one. Definitely feeling heavenly dream angel. And y'all, if y'all smell the heavenly dream angel, comment down below. What did y'all think of this? Like, out of all the perfumes, because I feel like... Victoria's Secret's hit or miss when it comes to perfumes lately. Back in the day, when it was just body splashes, they had it down to a T. But now that they ventured off into perfumes and stuff like that, perfume, it's hit or miss. And it depends on the person and the body chemistry. So that is all for my unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.